Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Boas, like all snakes, are amazing escape artists. And almost every boa keeper has a boa or two escape on them at some point. Today I want to share some of my own experiences with snakes that escaped, give you some tips for finding the escape snakes, and also share some secrets that you can use to escape proof your snake room so hopefully that the escapes never happen in the first place. If you want to learn all about keeping and breeding boas, be sure to subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. When you open your boa's enclosure and find out that the boa is no longer in there, this is an awful feeling. It's just completely demoralizing. This is something that almost all boa keepers will have to experience at one point or another. And in my career keeping snakes, I've probably had about 10 or 12 escape on me over the last few decades. And every single time I found the snake alive and unharmed with the exception of one time. And this was uh, one of my first snakes and one of my first snake escapes that happened when I was just 14 years old. I had uh, acquired this beautiful speckled king snake that I had in my eye on for quite a while. Finally managed to get the animal. I got the snake home and I proceeded to put the snake in a 10 gallon aquarium with an aquarium hood on top, you know, being very naive and just a 14 year old that didn't know better. And unfortunately, the snake had no problem pushing its way out the back. There's like a little flap where the cords go in in the fish tank hood. You know, totally inappropriate cage for a snake, by the way, if you haven't figured it out. Uh, so unfortunately, I put the snake in there the day that I got it. And then I came to check on it a few hours later and it was gone. And I was just devastated, looked everywhere, spent so much time trying to find that snake. A couple months went by and unfortunately I found, you know, what remained of the snake and unfortunately the snake had expired probably due to dehydration but it was a devastating experience especially for a 14 year old kid who had one of his first snakes and one of probably this at the time this was the nicest snake i had had up to date so definite learning experience fortunately in the three decades or so since that happened i've always found any snake that has managed to escape and when you deal with many many snakes over many many years Unfortunately, a few of them are bound to escape, you know, despite all of the precautions that you take to try to make this not happen. And the best thing is to escape proof your snake room and make it easy for you to find the snake if the snake should get out. And I'm going to get to that in a few minutes. But first, I just want to give you some tips for finding the escape snakes. And so the first thing you want to make sure of make sure that your snake is actually escaped. You know, sometimes snakes burrow in the substrate like aspen or coconut husk, something like that. They can get in there and they can hide and they can be very difficult to see. So go through everything, make sure the snake is not in there. Check all the hiding places, check anywhere it could hide in the cage, just to make sure that it's not there. The next thing you wanna check is you wanna make sure you didn't accidentally put the snake back into the wrong cage or the wrong tub in your rack. If you have a rack with multiple snakes, sometimes what I've done accidentally is I put the snake in the bin above or below its actual bin. And so when I go to check the bin a few days later, there's no snake in there. But then if I check the bin above it or below it, sometimes there have been two snakes in there. I've accidentally put the wrong snake in the, or the, the snake in the incorrect bin. And I've got two snakes in one bin. So you wanna check that also if you have multiple snakes in your collection with uh, racks with multiple bins. If you've 100% confirmed that your snake has escaped from its enclosure, the first thing you wanna do is leave the enclosure open slightly because there is a possibility that the snake might come back because that's the environment it's familiar with and where it's comfortable. So make sure you leave it open slightly. And then don't panic because as I mentioned, the odds are probably in your favor that you will get your snake back. As I mentioned, all but one of the snakes of mine that have, has escaped over the years, I've gotten back in excellent health. The next thing you wanna do is start a systematic search of anywhere that the snake could potentially hide. And I'll give you some pointers to aid you in your search. You wanna think like a snake. So put your head in the snake's head and think, if I were a snake, where would I go? So as you probably know, boas in the wild don't move around very much. Basically, they find a nice, safe, warm hiding spot and they just sit there waiting for food to come. 
So when your boa escapes, it's not likely to go very far. It's likely to go until it finds the first suitable hiding place away from the cage, and then it's just going to hang out there. So this is often up because boas in general like to climb up. So you might want to check uh, places that are above the level of the cage. You also want to get a flashlight and maybe some knee pads and then just start, start systematically searching all around the room where the snake has escaped because it's most likely to be in the same room where it escaped even if the doors are open to other rooms. And then you want to start looking under all of the furniture, under all the cabinets, look along the walls, on, along the baseboard, look behind appliances, look within the couches. You know, snakes sometimes will get caught up inside couches under the cushions. If it's in a bedroom, there's a possibility that your snake went up into the mattress, so you want to check that out. Just look pretty much anywhere that you might uh, think the snake would like to go. Um, this particular animal, this is a 2019 baby, and this one somehow got out from my baby tub after a few, few days after that she was born. And I looked everywhere, I couldn't find her. And then about three weeks later, my wife was going to the plastic shopping bags, planning a trip to the supermarket, and I heard her scream out, and she had reached her hand in the bag, and the snake was actually in the bag. And so it was in a plastic bag hanging from a doorknob just a few feet away, from the door to my snake room, my upstairs snake room. And I really don't know exactly how it got out because the door is closed, but you know, snakes can go underneath tight spaces, tight doorways, so that might have been the case. And the snake was gone for, I don't know, maybe a week and a half or so. Luckily got the snake back. Um, often you'll get a snake back not by looking, but just because the snake will come across your path when you're not looking for it. And this is how I've actually gotten back the majority of the snakes that have escaped on me, not by systematic searches. But you have to do the systematic searches and you have to continue. If you have racks or stacks of cages in a dedicated snake room, the boas will often climb up when they get out of their tubs. So you want to look at the top of each rack and you want to look underneath all of the tubs, look all around the racks in any space where the snake may have put itself. And in a room with typical furniture, they'll also go climb. Bookcases are a favorite spot for them to climb to. And uh, several years ago, I had a litter of baby Suriname red tails like this one. One of them unfortunately got out. And I managed to find him actually inside of a bookcase. He had climbed up the bookcase, over the books, and then was behind the books. So I had to pull out all the books and look back there. But luckily, I found him that same day and he was fine. So you want to check basically any confined space where your snake could get to. Uh, behind shelves, in bags, boxes, things like that. Just look all over the place. And as I mentioned, you definitely want to start right at where the snake escaped and then work your way out uh, systematically. Usually the snakes are only a few feet away from where they escaped from. And so if you don't find your snake on the first search, don't give up. Just keep at it. Sometimes it takes a while for you to find your snake. And I'll also say that only about half of my snakes that have escaped I found while searching. The other half just kind of show up when I least expected them. And so this particular animal, this is a boa constrictor longicada, and this guy is probably about four years old now. But when I first got him, he actually managed to escape from the back of a rack. He managed to squeeze his way through a tub and had escaped from the my baby boa rack and I looked at for him all over couldn't find him called my wife in and she came and found him really quickly that same day he was actually just coiled up on one of my vision boa racks just kind of chilling out there like it was a tree or something not even moving so luckily I got him back but if you don't find your snake by searching odds are pretty good it'll, the snake will just show up especially if you spend a lot of time hanging out in your snake room or in the room where the snake escaped from. So I wanted to mention there are some tips for putting out traps to catch snakes. And in general, I don't find these to be useful for boas. So some ideas are that you can put out plastic bags in a row and then the snake is moving around at night. They'll make noise and you can find the snake that way. Or you can put flour or cornstarch on the floor and when the snake crawls through it, it's gonna leave a track which will let you know which way to go. 
But like I said, boas don't really move very much. So these types of traps probably aren't going to be useful for boas. You know, in general, I'll put down some hiding places in my snake room. Some of my plastic hides are just on the floor. But I've never actually found an escaped snake in these hides. But, you know, it's something to try. The one thing I'll uh, say is definitely a good idea is to put out water dishes. You want to put out a few water dishes on the floor around where your snake escaped just so it has access to water because the snakes, boas and other snakes, can easily go for months without food but they need to have water at least every few weeks. So put the water out and hopefully your snake will just appear again when you least expect it. The longest I've had a snake get out was for just under two months, this female boa constrictor saboge, who was actually the mother of the baby that I showed you, or the one-year-old that I showed you at the beginning who escaped. This female was gone for just under two months, and she actually got out the back of a tub that wasn't, the spacing of the tub was too big, and managed to get out the tub. I looked everywhere, you know, after about a month or so, I really started to lose hope. But then a few weeks later, I came down to my snake room, looked up on a rack, and she was climbing up on top of the rack. So never lose hope. Snakes can, the boas can go and just basically hang out. At some point, they get hungry or, you know, they need to get water, and they're going to have to move around. But unless they're really hungry or need water, typically they'll just sit there quietly, and you won't even know they're there. You finally got your boa back. How do you prevent it from escaping again? Well, the first thing you should do is make sure that your boa is happy in its enclosure. If a boa is moving on its enclosure and trying to escape, there's a pretty good chance that there's something that's missing that it's not getting. And most likely it doesn't have enough hiding places. Make sure you have plenty of hiding places, at least two, one over the hot spot and one on the cool side of the enclosure, just so the snake has somewhere comfortable to hide. Snakes will often move around a lot if they're hungry, and as you know, boas are pretty much always hungry. So make sure your snake is getting enough food, but of course you don't want to overfeed your boa either. The next thing to do is just make sure that your boa's enclosure is escape proof. One of the most common ways that boas get out of their enclosure in a rack system is they squeeze out the back through a spacing that's not tight enough. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to show you the bottom tub of a Vision Boa Rack, and this is the eight shelf model with eight tubs. But you can see the bottom one doesn't make a very good seal with the top. There's just too big of a space here that a snake could easily push its way out. And if you kind of push it in, sometimes it's a little better. But the point is, this isn't a very secure solution. So what I need to do before this tub will be appropriate for keeping a snake in, I need to put some kind of shim here to increase the height so no snake can get out of the back. Gaps in snake tubs can also be an issue with smaller homemade racks, like this rack that I built to hold the Sterilite 28 quart tubs. You can see this gap is a little bit bigger than I would have liked, and you know, a baby snake would probably have no difficulty getting out through that gap. So I plan on rebuilding this rack to a tighter specification in the future when I have some time. But in the meantime, I just use these popsicle sticks as shims. And you can see they do a decent job making the gap smaller so that there's no possibility that the snake will now be able to escape. Boas can also potentially escape from sliding glass front enclosures if the enclosure's front isn't properly slid into place. So you can see here a common problem using aspen bedding substrate. The aspen gets stuck in the track of the sliding glass and then it kind of prevents the glass from closing all the way. So you want to make sure that your enclosures are kept clean of substrate from the sliding glass or better yet use a paper-based substrate to prevent this problem altogether. And also you want to make sure that your enclosure is completely closed when you close it so the snake is not able to get out. And this particular animal plastics enclosure actually has these locks. And if I had had the lock engaged, there would be absolutely no way for the snake to get out. I typically don't use the locks just because I would have to carry around keys to access the cages, but definitely a good idea to get these locking cages and use them to be 100% sure that your snake can't escape. 
One common scenario that frequently results in escape boas is use of the glass fish tank as an enclosure with a wire mesh screen top. And these wire mesh tops are really not designed for snakes, they're designed for other types of animals. Snakes don't really have much of a difficulty pushing them up. And then even when you get clips, the clips can often break, allowing the snake to escape. People will often use books or rocks or any kind of weight just on top to hold it in place, which is really a bad idea because the snake could easily push its way up and possibly get injured in the process when the weight falls on top of the snake. So I highly recommend getting an appropriate snake enclosure like a plastic snake cage or a rack system to house your boas. If you're lucky enough to have a dedicated snake room, you can set it up to make it as escape proof as possible. So first you want to have very little furniture, if any, in the snake room other than the racks and cage stacks. You want to have all the racks and cage stacks elevated on casting wheels, which will allow you to push them around, but it also allows you to easily look underneath should a snake get out. Basically, you want nowhere that the snake can hide on the floor or anything like that, and minimal places in furniture, things like that. So if your snake gets out, really you just have to check the racks and the cage stacks to see if it's hiding somewhere in those. You want the dedicated snake room to have a door that closes automatically when you leave the room, just so if the snake leaves the enclosure, it can't get out of the room. And then you want to carefully go around and make sure that there's no holes or compartments or uh, exits to the outside the snake could access. Escape proofing your snake room also involves covering up any holes in the walls or floor or ceiling where the snake could potentially enter. So there was some a hole in the ceiling of this room where pipes, you can see the pipes there that went through this hall. So what I did is I just took some duct tape and covered up the hole. You know, not the most high tech solution, but it will work fine. And if the snake doesn't see the hole, it's not gonna try to go up there and escape. So you definitely wanna go ahead and cover up any holes like this so there's no places that your snake could go to potentially hide. I hope your boas are never able to escape, but if they do, I hope this video helps you get them back and keep them from escaping again. As always, shoot me any questions or comments you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.